falling water into electrical power is one of the technological wonders that has made modern life possible. As water rushes through the turbines underneath each of the generators you see in this power plant, the force of the water causes the turbine blades to spin the generator's rotor at 150 revolutions per minute. As the whirling rotor passes the stationary coils of wire that surround it, it creates an electrical current. That would be one pillar pair. Mm -hmm. Very around. From the generator, the electrical current passes to transformers just outside the powerhouse, where its voltage is boosted to 345,000 volts before passing through yeah, high-tension power lines to distant that. cities. <laughs> like all mechanical equipment, the huge generators must be overhauled and repaired from time yeah. to time. This is a major job involving closing the penstock gate leading to the turbine and careful disassembly of the entire unit. The large overhead crane used to lift out the rotor, turbine shaft, and other components can weigh 600 tons. Periodic inspection and maintenance of each generator helps ensure its consistent performance in producing electricity. So each one of these generators produces 165 megawatts of power. At full capacity with all eight running, that's 1,320 megawatts. That power goes to 